I also have a couple of questions. Unfortunately, uh, we didn't have to be interactive. So, the first question is, Russian Federation decided to undertake peace keeping or peace enforcing uh, um, uh, actions without any consultations with the Security Council against a neglected, absolutely, the mechanism of peace building and the Security Council. How we could uh, uh, explain the next question. Uh, it was stated that today uh, the Parliament took the decision on the military intervention today. But never was said and never was explained in terms of international law and any logic why Russian troops appeared several days ago. I gave you yesterday the facts what what happened all these days. It means that uh, uh, there is no explanation why they are there. So the next what uh, uh, the colleague uh, Russian ambassador said. Uh, at least, uh, I, I, I can comment on the um, by the crisis that it's, it's a direct uh, intervention on the, 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 the domestic affairs, what, what he stated, uh, giving the assessments on the uh, political parties, political leaders, all the processes, and spotting living with uh, him. Uh, uh, we haven't really had the answer to why they refused to call the consultations with Ukraine and <clears throat> Uh, uh, to be cool minded as uh, he addressed us. We were ready, we advised Russian Federation to have these consultations within uh, the existing bilateral agreement. He was not ready to answer uh, my question of why they refused to act uh, and to fulfill their obligations on the uh, Budapest 